Today we're talking about five things that I wish I knew before I started learning motion design and animation. We'll go over universal tips, principles, and resources for anyone that's looking to get into motion design or improve if they're learning currently. Starting off with number one is that the rules of graphic design also apply to animation. So I started my career doing motion design first, learning graphic design at a university later, and in doing that, I realized I'd basically done the entire learning process backwards. I learned so many rules and principles of design at university, which I later applied to motion design, and I immediately saw improvements in my work. The reason why this felt backwards is because graphic design often works with static imagery, whereas with animation, you're creating hundreds or even thousands of frames at a time. The problem here is if you don't learn how to design one frame properly, it's going to be very difficult for you to automatically know how to make multiple frames work together. This is something I say to anyone that asks me when they're looking for advice to learn motion design. Master the basic principles of graphic design first, rhythm, contrast, hierarchy, and when you feel comfortable with those things, it will be much easier for you to transition into motion design. Number two is the importance of context in creating themes in your animation. The idea of building a visual theme in your animation helps create a consistent experience that immerses the viewer in what you're creating. For example, an animation that's themed around the idea of grittiness can use a lower frame rate, textures, choppier movement so that they feel more imperfect or handmade. Whereas an animation themed around tech can be smoother, calculated, almost as if it were generated purely by an AI or a computer. This technically means that there's no wrong answer when it comes to how you style your animation and the effects you use, as long as it fits within the context of your theme. A good practice is to come up with a few keywords that will define the style of your piece and call back to those words when you start adding effects or movement in your animation. Number three is learning to lead the viewer's eyes with your animation. One of the most difficult skills to master in graphic design is hierarchy where you use sizing, placement, and color to direct your viewer's eyes throughout your composition. The added benefit of motion design is that you can use movement to your advantage to literally force a viewer's eyes in a certain direction. Something you should constantly keep in mind while animating is how you plan to direct the viewer's attention. In this simple example, I start by focusing the animation towards the center and redirect the movement to the left where the figure is standing. This way, by the time the second screen appears, the viewer already knows where they should be looking. This allows them to digest information one piece at a time rather than experiencing everything at once and potentially becoming overwhelmed. Tip number four and one of my personal favorites is that not everything needs to move. This was one of my first mistakes when I started making match graphics was that I felt the need to animate every single layer without thinking about how it affects the design. When you make something move, it causes the viewer to focus on that object. For example, if you have a small piece of information that's at the bottom of your hierarchy or the least important, as soon as you animate it, it suddenly becomes the most important piece of information at that moment. Before animating, you need to establish which pieces the viewer needs to focus on and work your way down from there. That way you avoid animating objects that can potentially distract the viewer and disrupt your hierarchy. The last tip I wanted to share with you all are some resources that I've found helpful throughout my career. AEScripts.com is basically a shopping mall for finding cheap plugins to After Effects that can either be very convenient or solve very specific tasks. For education, two great resources to learn from are School of Motion and Motion Design School, both of which have paid courses but also offer free design tutorials on their YouTube channels. FX Console is a free plugin created by Video Copilot that was specifically designed to save you time and speed up your workflow. It offers a ton of features including exporting screenshots with a single click and fast searching effects. It doesn't cost any money, so there's really no downside to having it installed. Let me know if you have some ideas for future videos in the comments. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more design tips.